And we are live. Falci Galer, welcome one and all to the October edition of the Seamus Ennis Arts Centre Zoom sessions. Uh, I, I had worried in recent months whether or not uh, there would be significant interest for these into the autumn, but seeing Dublin go back into lockdown and now <laughs> threatening to go into further lockdown and Donegal as well, I take it we may we may have use for these sessions for a little while uh, longer yet. So, as I say, welcome. Uh, you'll probably notice that you are all muted. Uh, unfortunately, that is how we have to run these sessions in a one singer, one song format. And we will unmute you when it is your turn to sing. Um, in terms of how we select singers, um, what I'll do is I'll go through the room and do my best to see as many people as possible. Uh, and the way I approach them is I just send them a little private message in the chat so please keep your eye on it asking if uh, you'd like to sing if for some reason you don't see the chat or, or you don't hear back from you and um, I may still ask you to sing so please don't be surprised if that's if, you know if, if you don't get adequate notice and um, we're all we're all friends here <laughs> and uh, I don't mean to catch anyone on the hop and um, if you were here last month and didn't get a chance to sing, could you please hit the raise your hand button uh, in the participants window there? That'll just give me an opportunity to get to anybody that was loyal, showed up last month, didn't get to sing a song, and has returned in hopes of singing again. Um, I should also wish to welcome our special guest, our e specialte, Dimrik Makilavrida, uh, originally from Donegal, but I don't, I don't know where he is this evening. Um, if he's in Donegal, no better place, lockdown or not. Um, very, very excited to hear Dimrick um, and get a couple of songs from him. Um, also, while the uh, while the session is going, please uh, use the chat bar down here. Um, it's a great way to just have a bit of banter and um, chat through the songs um, in a way that you know we can't really do on a Zoom call. Um, if you want to offer praise to somebody, maybe discuss the origins of a song, whatever, uh, that's the place to do it. But in the meantime, we'll get going. Uh, we're going to get our first three songs. First from Dave O'Connor, second from Gemma Khawaja, and third from Iona Ritchie. So I'm going to ask to unmute Dave, and Dave, you have to accept my unmuting. How's Dave, that? we have you. Live live from Fingal, is it? Uh, a bit further afield at the moment, but not to worry. <laughs> that's all right. That's that's all right. Not breaking lockdown, I hope. Um, no. you're, you're most welcome. Dave is probably known to anybody who's set foot in the Seamus Henderson Arts Centre before, but he's a, a big man about the town in the Fingal area and uh, a great singer and uh, has a great knowledge of songs. How's all where you are, Dave? All's well, good. All's good. Uh, the Frank Hart was brilliant, you know, and uh, we're, we're still in the afterglow after that. We had a great sing singing session, actually, in uh, Carberry's, out of Carberry's Zoom, and we'd hold on Thursday, and we'd go in on Friday. So it's all singing this week. It's great. No no end to it. No end to it. Have you got a song yeah. for us? Yep. Uh, murder Ballad. Round about the same. Jerry sang Patrick Kilkenny is my name. That was a murder ballad from the 1860s. Uh, there was a double murder around the same time, halfway between Nall and Ballybuckle. Um and it tells the story itself. All you that have kind feelings with me now sympathize. And when you hear this tale of woe, it will you much surprise. Two sisters, they were murdered all by some villain's hand. Such a terrible deed it was never known in this our native land. Richard Murphy farmed his land in Hollywood, we hear. It had been held by his father, William, for many a long year. To his one son, Richard, he will the house and the land. And to his daughters, Ellen and Jane, were a portion thirty pounds. It was on a Monday evening, Richard Murphy did come home. There beheld a terrible sight, caused him to sigh and moan. His sister Ellen, by the door, lay bleeding in her gore. Two awful wounds to her fair neck, and her skull it was battered and sore. Help was quickly summoned, and for Anne they did search around. But in a field rear to the house was her cold body found. A lifeless corpse covered in blood, most dismal to be seen. It would chill the hardest heart to see, 
and the milk can she have a bean? Richard Murphy was arrested and brought to Kilmain in jail. Compelled to stand his trial alone, for him they take no bail. On circumstances he was tried, but all may plainly see. By the learner judge and the jury, they must set this prisoner free. For it was no stranger done the deed, as well you all may know. But some bloodthirsty villain did approve their overthrow. Their money he would also take if he had only time. But providence who rules above will soon reveal the crime. His trial it lasted seven days in Green Street Court we hear. The parish priest and others for him they did appear. Sidney and Curran, his counsellors, and the law they did expound. Judge and jury did agree, not guilty he was found. Alas, no bloodier deed was done in these most cruel times. To find young women murdered for neither state nor crimes. We hope all friends and neighbours will devoutly for them pray. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord, upon the judgment day. Gorgeous, Dave. Thanks so much. Where, where does that one come from? That's a local song uh, near okay. Nall. Brilliant. Uh, I have a great load of lore handed down to me orally, but I would just wouldn't go into it on Zoom. But it, it's a great um, when we sing in the Nall in in the in the shelter. I, I tell the story in the in the Ennis Centre. You know. Great stuff, great stuff. Well, Thanks, a nice uh, murder ballad to kick us off there, folks. And uh, if you don't like that sort of thing, I suggest you pick a different genre of music. <laughs> I'm going to unmute Gemma Khawaja now, all the way from Cromer in Norfolk. Gemma, I've unmuted you. You have to accept my unmuting. We have you. Gemma, how are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. It's really nice to be here. Great to have you. Super busy. <laughs> what are you going to sing for us? Um, I'll sing one. I'm not quite ready to let go of summer yet, so I'll sing um, one that just feels like a summer song for some reason. It's, um, it's one that I learned from the singing of Harry Cox called The Watercress Girl. Lovely. And it goes like this. As I strolled out one morning Down by a running stream The water lilies growing It was a charming scene And I I was a walking a damsel I spied. She was gathering water cresses down by that stream that side and in dresses down by the stream that led to the mill. She was gathering watercresses, my little watercress girl. I asked her not lonely she answered with a smile fine sir i am not lonely this is my daily toil i have to rise up early my caresses for to sell. She said that her name it was my. 
lover known as the Lord Christ and it hung in tresses down by the stream that led to the mill. She was gathering water cresses, my little watercress girl. The day it is not distant when Martha up like an earl to go and marry Martha, my little watercress girl, and her it hung in tresses down by the stream that led to the mill. She was gathering watercresses, my own little watercress girl. We oft times strolled together down by that running stream for since I married Martha she has become my queen although she's poor she's proved to be a very useful pal oh a Right, good wife is Martha, my little watercress girl, and her hair it hung in tresses down by the stream that led to the mill. She was gathering watercresses, my little watercress girl. Thank you. Gorgeous, Gemma. Thanks so much. And uh, thanks for coming back. A joy to hear you every month. Oh, thank you. No worries. Okay, we'll move on now to Iona Ritchie. Let's see if I can unmute her. Hello. I Iona, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Not too bad at all. But more importantly, have you got a song for us? I do. So I'm going to sing a song that I learned at my first ever singing session, which was at the Flat Kilnaheron in Ennis, and it's sung by Pora King. Um, and it's called Horses and Plows, and I hope you enjoy. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Oh, balmy is the breezes that blows in the spring, and soft is the music the song thrushes sing. But I sigh for a sight that I seldom see now. A man in the field with his horses and plow. So adieu to the days of my youth long ago when I harnessed the team near the barn 
down below and I'd hide for the highlands beside Corrigal and cleave the hard green sword with horses and plough. Invoking a blessing, I started my day. Follow ye, there on upper is what I did say. Asking for guidance to keep my know-how and strike a straight furrow with horses and plough. And up at the headland, every once in a while, I rested my horses all steaming with tile, with the sleeve of my shirt. Swept the sweat off my brow as I gazed on the work of my horses and plough. And in the evening, as the sun it sank low with my hurley and ball to the sports field I'd go to win an all Ireland we'd all make a vow and seek recreation with horses and plough. With whistling and lilting the bar of a song, it lightened my labours all the day long. With seagulls around me and crows on the bow, all seeking the bounty of horses and plough. But the clatter of tractors, pollution and all, have crippled the couple, and sad is that fall. While far away, OPEC, we richly endow, Forgetting the value of horses and plough. Now soon I'll be going from this valley of woe to the fair fields of heaven. Sure, I'm hoping I'll go. One request for Saint Peter, I hope he'll allow eternal employment for horses and Good heavens, Iona, that was lovely. Thank you. Uh, there was a comment came in there. It said, singing as sweet as the sound of a burbling brook. I said, would you, would you get that much alliteration in a flat hill competition? I don't think you would. I don't think you would. You've, you've, got, you've got a true listening audience here. <laughs> Thank that, you. That was lovely, Iona. Thanks for, thanks for being with us. Okay. Uh, we're going to move on now to um, a man from Dublin, but not in lockdown Dublin, up, up somewhere around the border. Uh, we have Mick Dunn. Mick, I'm going to ask to unmute you. And Mick, we have you. How are you? Game ball. How are you? Could be worse. Could be worse. I'm, I'm about to hear Mick Dunn singing, so, you know, it's all up from here. God, God help you. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got for us? 
Uh, I'll do it now. Westland wins. Or maybe. Now Westland wins and slaughtering guns brings autumn's pleasant weather. The moorcocks brings on wearing wings above the blooming heather. The waving grain wide o'er the plain delights the weary farmer. The moon shines bright as I stroll at night to muse upon my charmer. The partridge loves the fruitful vales, the pullover loves the mountain. The woodcock haunts the lonely dales, the soaring heron the fountain. Through every grove the cushat roves, the path of man to shun it. The hazel bush overhangs the thrush, the spreading thorn the linnet. Thus every kind their pleasure find, the savage and the tender. Some social join and leagues combine, some a solitary wonder. Avant away the cruel sway, tyrannic man's dominion. The huntsman's joy, the murdering cry, the fluttering gory pinion. Now, Peggy dear, the evening's clear, thick fly, the skimming swallow. The sky is blue, the field in view is faded green and yellow. So let us stray our gladsome way to view the charms of nature, the rustling corn, the fruited thorn, and every happy creature. We'll gently walk and sweetly talk while the silent moon shines clearly. I'll grasp your waist and fondly praise, for I swear I love you dearly. Not vernal showers unto budding flowers, not autumn to the farmer. So dear to me as thou can be, my own, my lovely charmer. There we go. Gorgeous, Mick. Thank you so much. It's a, it's a classic, and I love that air on it specifically. Great stuff. Great, Great stuff. Song, yeah. Okay, um, I sent a message to Steve Darmody to sing the next song. Let's see if Steve's there. I'm going to ask to unmute you, Steve, and you have to accept. Steve, how are you? Well, thanks, man. It's Would you a sing bit early. For, it's a bit early. Is, are you in Australia? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what time yeah, is it? It's there? about 6 a.m. Yeah, well, it's it, it's a funny one now. The, w w we did have the Australians in mind when we were planning this session. You said we were picking a time to put it on. Uh, we figured... And, we figured and actually, you did pretty good, actually. You did yeah, pretty well, good. We, usually the Australians join us around, around you know, 11 o'clock midnight. Uh, but we're yeah. delighted to have you with us. Do you have a song for us? Um, uh, okay, a bit short notice. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. Um, this, is an, this is a song about a place in New South Wales. Uh, about a um a bush ranger. Can you hear me? Okay, because I got perfect. my earplugs in. Okay, <coughs> still working on the cobwebs. <coughs> okay, um, come, come, <coughs> come, all you Lachlan men, and a sorrowful tale I'll tell. Concerning of a hero bold Who through misfortune fell His name it was Ben Hall A man of good renown Who was hunted from his homestead And like a dog shot down Three years he roamed the roads And he showed the trap some fun A thousand pounds was on his head Johnny Gilbert's and John Dunn's Ben parted from his comrades The outlaws did agree 
to give away bush ranging and across the briny sea. Ben went to Goobang Creek and that was his downfall. For riddled like a panning sieve was Bally and Ben Hall. It was early in the morning, about the break of day, when the seven police surrounded him as fast asleep he lay. Billy Duggan, he was chosen to shoot the outlaw dead. The, <clears throat> the troopers then fired madly out of fear and they filled him full of lead. They rolled him in his blankets, strapped him on his thoroughbred. And they rode him through the streets of Forbes to show that the prize they had. Shinny. Absolutely beautiful, Steve. You know, I've, I've attempted to sing at 6 a.m. before, and uh, I can guarantee you it was nowhere near as good as that. No, no. As a, as a friend who on these calls said to me recently, he said the problem with making sessions international is that they then become of international standard. That was absolutely wonderful, Steve. Thank you so much. Thank, well, what's thank the song you called? kindly. Um, Streets of Forbes, F-O-R-B-E-S. And it's interesting, I think, my, um, Billy Dargan, he was the Aboriginal guy, so he had to do the dirty work. And they took him down into a town which is very, very... Um, predominantly Catholic, and I think it was a kind of warning. Um, uh, uh, Parks is the uh, anyway. That's don't want to go into too much detail, but uh, Gary Shearson does a good job of that, and it's pretty old that song. Great, great. Well, thanks so much, Steve, and you're welcome thanks back anytime. Thanks for the ask. No Thank worries. you. Ask. No. Thanks for asking. Okay, bye. Okay. Well, Thomas Condol Hart Goparis Anish, because Stephanie McCarthy. Stephanie, I'm going to unmute you, and you have to accept my unmuting. Stephanie, will you come on? Yeah, uh, Tom, Tom Kirkalor, Kirkalor, Fad. Because we'll be on earth. It's a bit nippy here tonight. I, suddenly I feel the cold descending upon us here in Paris. Mm -hmm. Got very nippy there all of a sudden. Oh God, like it's, 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 it's coming on as a strange way here in Dublin, but n I imagine nothing near as bad as Paris. Uh, what are you going to sing for us, Stephanie? Um, I thought I'd sing... Um, a song that uh, we we sing in our singing club a lot and it's i mean it, it's 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 a great traditional one um uh fanya gallon lee perfect go for it madin ma to hawasama arvu alakhlin an saratat san crevlanash is on rachte on rain. Our hash till dum tree fall to port is bond a minare. Kea yon le ma shachan huilendus la fan a galang ve. Nirev rog na stok a kaip na klok har mur story nogon spare. A fault funer ga she es go trig ag fos go bar an air. The call and grit a key in a glag, Swarhuch by us a scale. The rug bargain our venous best, La Fana Galang the Wigan breed dog, she is la mash, her vim vim shaglas in hair. Agma galevis the 
dom with go pros, marvne nascar and lay. She dur chilamsa immigum, isquelar shul me arreak. Shin yedanas na shail shakta. Lafanya Kalonle Shini. Gloria, Stephanie. Thanks so much for tuning in. And as I say, you're welcome back anytime, any Thanks any first Saturday much. of the month. No Delighted problem. to be here. Thanks very much. Gurmila Makwiv. Five hour bit. Okay, gonna move uh, back to dirty Dublin now. I can say that because I'm from here. Uh, to Mr. Tom Finn, a man, a man not very dirty, a man quite prim and proper, I have to say. Tom, I'm gonna ask to unmute you, and you have to accept my unmuting. There Tom, we go. Can you, you hear me? Yeah. How are you? Very good. Very good, Dara. And have you a song for us? Yeah, I'm going to sing you a uh, Dominic Pian song. Um, it was his anniversary back in August, so I started working my way back through some of the songs that I hadn't sung in ages. And then I ran out, so I decided to learn a few more. So the, this is one of the ones I've learned recently. It's uh, Crooked Jack. <clears throat> it's uh, a laboring song. <clears throat> come, come, Irish man, both young and stern, with adventure in your soul. There are better ways to spend your days than in working down a hole. I was tall and true, all of six foot two, but they broke me across the back by a name I'm known, and it's not my own. They call me Crooked Jack. The gangers blue eyed boy was I, Big Jack could do no wrong. And the reason simply was because I could work hard hours and long. I was tall and true, all of six foot two, but they broke me across the back. By a name I'm known, and it's not my own. They call me Crooked Jack. I've seen men old before their time, their faces drawn and grey. But I never thought so soon would mine be lined the self same way. I was tall and true, all of six foot two, but they broke me across the back. By a name I'm known, and it's not my own. They call me Crooked Jack. I curse the day I went away to work on the hydro dams. Our sweat and tears, our hopes and fears bound up in shuttering jams. I was tall and true, all of six foot two, but they broke me across the back. By a name I'm known, and it's not my own. They call me Crooked Jack. They say that honest toil is good for the body and the soul. But believe me, boys, it's for sweat and blood that they want you down the hole. I was tall and true, all of six foot Two, but they broke me across the back by a name I'm known, and it's not my own. They call me Crooked Jack. Shinna Will. Oh, mighty stuff, Tom. Damo didn't didn't pull any punches, did he? No, he gave us straight. <laughs> I can can hear the gravel in that one. Thanks so much, Tom. That was gorgeous. I'm not sure oh, he ever worked in the buildings himself, mind you. But <laughs> no, no. Do you know something? Uh, I, that doesn't I, stop you writing about it, though. It doesn't. It doesn't. I you did don't have to murder somebody to write a murder ballot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it would help, I'm sure. Uh, no, no. I did uh, I did some research on Dominic Bean a while ago, and 
supposedly at one stage he was commissioned by the BBC to write a couple of songs about the the tunnels and uh, he did go down with a hard hat and he met a bunch of the men but yeah no I don't don't know if he ever had a, a shovel in his hand himself he, <laughs> he, he, he was a dab hand at painting houses at one stage but I think he was kicked off for trying to unionise a lot of them or something like that <laughs> <laughs> Great to have you, Tom. Okay, we're going to move over to Pennsylvania now to a good friend of the session, Ms. Nora Rhodes. Nora, I'm going to ask to unmute you and you have to accept our unmuting. Hello. We have you, Nora. How are you? Well, thanks. Um, yes, I'm very glad to be here. Uh, all right, well, I thought um, today I could sing Jeannie C, and so I learned this from the singing of Scylla Fisher. All right. Come all you lads, draw near to me, but I be not forsaken, for this day I lost the genie and my living has been taken and i'll go to see no more we set out that day in the bright sunshine the same as any other my son and I and old John Prime in a boat named for my mother and I'll go to sea no more and well you know what the fishing has been it's been cold and hard and cruel but this day by god we sure caught cod and we laughed and sang like fools and I'll go to see no more. I'll never know what we struck that day, but strike we did like thunder. John Prime gave a cry and pitched over side now forever he's gone under and i'll go to see no more no leak i found from head to bow no rock it was that got her but what i found made my heart go cold for every seam poured water and i'll go to see no more my God, I cried as she went down. That boat was like no other. For my father built her when I was nine and named her for my mother. And I'll go to see no more. Sure, I could have another built in the boat shop down in Dover. 
But I'll never love another kill like that one the waves went over and I'll go to see no more so come all you lads draw near to me that I be not forsaken for this day I lost the genie and my whole life has been taken and I'll go to see no Thank you. Heartfully rendered, Nora. Thank you so much. And uh, I, 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 I think I think I've reached my quota of compliments with you. So, so let's just I'll just say that was very good, and I won't say any more for fear of gushing. Brilliant stuff. Okay, and um, we're going to move over now to Michael O'Leary. Michael, I'm going to ask to unmute you. I need to accept my unmuting. Michael, how are you? Hey, hey, Dara. Where are you calling from, Michael? I'm in uh, Gloucester, Massachusetts, which is northeast of Boston. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on the sea. <laughs> uh, beautiful, beautiful seaport. I, I've never met a New Englander that couldn't sing, so uh, I, I'm expecting big things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's a joke. But, but uh, well, no, the, the, the first part wasn't a joke. The second part was. <laughs> uh, what have you got for us, Michael? Um, picking up on Iona's theme of uh, horses and plow, I'm going to... Uh, sing a setting of Joseph Campbell's poem. I will go with my father. Gorgeous. Um, and I've, I've put it. I've got a. Ref the last line is a refrain. I'll, I'll sing it twice, so I won't be able to hear anyone. But if you want to sing, sing along when I repeat, repeat, please do. Um, <clears throat> so. I will go with my father a plowing. To the green field by the sea, and the rooks and the crows and the seagulls will come flocking after me. I will sing to the patient horses with the lark in the wide of the air. And my father will sing the plow song that blesses the cleaving share. My father will sing the plow song that blesses the cleaving share. I will go with my father a sowing. To the red field by the sea, and the rooks and the gulls and the starlings will come flocking after me. I will sing to the striding sowers with the finch on the flowering slow. And my father will sing the seed song that only the wise men know. My father will sing the seed song that only the wise men know. I will go with my father a reaping. To the brown field by the sea, and the geese and the crows and the children will come flocking after me. I will sing to the weary reapers with the wren in the heat of the sun. And my father will sing the scythe song 
The joy is for the harvest done. My father will sing the scythe song. The joy is for the harvest done. Lovely stuff, Michael. Thanks so much for being with us. And thank you. We're here the first Saturday Saturday of every month. If you feel like coming back, um, <laughs> I will. Right. So thanks we're so going to. For, thanks for the welcome. No worries, <laughs> Michael. Anytime. So we're going to head back over the Atlantic uh, briefly to Bonnie Scotland and to a Bonnie Scottish singer. Her name is Elaine. Elaine, I'm going to ask to unmute you, and you have to accept my unmuting. We have you, Elaine. How are you? I'm good, thanks, Dada. How are you? Not too bad. You hard at work these days? What's that, sorry? Are you hard at work these days? Well, yes, off and on. Stops and starts, but yeah. Yeah. Um, my my connection's not great, so I might come in and out. Well, okay, you're singing. Um, you're singing with more than make up for it, Elaine. What do you have for us? Well, I was down, uh, so I thought I would learn. Um, a song by a, a guy for Galloway. Um, so he, this is a sort of ghost story, but he it was about mid 1700s, a guy called Alexander Lowe. He was um, a tutor. And this is based, supposedly based on the girls that he was teaching. One of, our, one of their men didn't come back from sea. And so he was inspired to write this and it's called Mary's Dream. The moon had climbed the highest hill While rising o'er the so so deep And faith that eastern summit shed Her silver on tower and tree when Mary laid her head to sleep her thoughts on sandy far at sea when soft and low a voice was heard saying, Mary, weep, nay, mere for me. She fed her pillow gently raised her head to ask. Who there might be, she saw young Sandy shivering stand with his edge pale and hollowed Oh, Mary, dear, cold is my clay. It lies beneath the stormy sea, far, far from thee, I sleep in death, so Mary weep, nay, mere for me. Three stormy nights and stormy days We tossed around that raging maid And long we strove our bark to but all our striving was in vain. Even then, when horror chilled my blood, my heart was filled with love for 
for thee. The storm is past. I am at rest. So Mary, weep nay mer for me. O maiden dear, thyself prepare. We soon shall meet upon that shore where love is free from doubt and care and thou and i need part name loud crowed the cock the shadow But soft the passing spirit said, Sweet Mary, weep nay mere for me. Thanks. Beautiful, Elaine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And your connection held up just fine, in case you were oh, worried about did that. It. Good. Great stuff. Okay, uh, we will move down to the sunny southeast and get a song from my good friend Gavin Byrne. Gavin, I'm going to... Oh, we have you. Gavin, how are you? Ah, good. And lovely to be here with you. No problem. Have you got a song? Yeah. I'll try uh, Bimbar Fury's song, The Song of the Fox. An old piper sat down to play His pipes he began to chew the fox chase he heard someone say, and it echoed round the room. The fox chase for a hunter to make him stand and cheer. Or is it for the little red dog that we all fill with fear? Oh, fox, so oh, fox. A little red fox with your heart beating in your chest. The hounds they do all follow you, and still you cannot rest. The horses race after you, their bodies all foamed with sweat. Their half crazed masters riding them. Their minds all filled with death. Their eyes stretch forth on the hunt for you to kill their set. Not fearing for their own sweet lives, the fox they have to get. Oh, fox, oh, fox, a little red fox with your heart beating in your chest. The hounds, they do all follow you, and still you cannot rest. The hounds, they chase after you, their tongues lie left to right. They sent their kill ahead of them, but you're not yet in sight. But as they pass, the cold black thorn, their barks grow loud and clear. And it's then the little red dog he knows that death is drawn near. Oh, fox, oh, fox, a little red fox with your heart beating in your chest. The hounds, they do all follow you, and still you cannot rest. Men and hounds, they gather round, but his life he fought to win. But the hunter's horn, it sounded then, 
and they tore him limb from limb. Old Piper, play your last lament, sad sunset in your mind. For the little red dog that was torn to shreds, his life ended by mankind. Oh, fox, oh, fox, ah, little red fox, with your heart beating in your chest. The hounds, they do all follow you, and still you cannot rest. In it. Lovely stuff, Gavin. Brilliant. You know, I, I can never get over how many hunting songs are written with, with sympathy for, for the animal being hunted, actually, oh, yeah. that are written by hunters. <laughs> 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 so a way of assuaging their guilt or something that was that was brilliant thanks so much thank you no worries okay Kiano uh, Nella Faka Riv Rachimid's Hearts Gudian Ian we're going to have one more uh, before we go over to our guest uh, it will be Genevieve Gallerno and Goste here Merica Genevieve I'm going to ask to unmute you and Genevieve how are you oh hey Dar doing well how about yourself not bad at all, at all. Have you got a song for us? I do, yeah. Um, I'm going to sing Tame Mohi, Great. which is a song that I got in Donegal uh, many years ago. Lovely, lovely song. Great stuff. And this is just a forewarning to, to Dimrick that we will be going to him just after this song. In your own time, Genevieve. <laughs> Tame Mohi Oh, Teringa Lagre, a court in a sheet, Scumske is a fado, Gagger, Tapanati, Snally is Tamisha Lamhain. Tana Kalegli San Silna Galach Achme Yakwamum J. Da Velda Wali is the Grua To Hogorum Quaigal Vareg Mayaches Sewer la khawi da ki ani ya dam man bala khu is kharid mo khwe ta na shle chang ya letter me stu jerin la lengur khit chang ya Harad me me e na garoshe na ma fristi kra o akir o ker ferer na kyakin me kuir shi arin is kaid ga ger tri ker blart ma fri. Kasu banshi dam he say was fail enough. Is tira matia on squilia glass air bigra is a door she say shall amrera sinta nor a hinge van creek has guilt a Nor a hinge van creek is guilt a rashe gabra. True words, never spoken and beautifully, beautifully sung, Genevieve. Thank you so much. Well, that just about brings us up to time uh, to welcome our special guest. Uh, I'm very excited to, to welcome this man, um, a wonderful singer and a, a giant in the Chano Singh community and indeed the broader uh, traditional singing community of Ireland. Uh, Bootser Corny Rieda, winner of the Corny Rieda, the, the highest competition we have for 
singing in the Irish language on this island. Um, Dimrick Mac Gilavrida is on him though. Dimrick, I'm going to ask to unmute you and uh, you have to accept my unmuting. Achar, achar, how are you? Yeah, yeah. Just to Will I an hour or Chance? Yeah, the, yeah, the, the couple. Of, <laughs> as it happens, I was going to sing. I was going to start off with Tema Mahi. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a coincidence. Like there's a million Chano songs, and the one it's 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 crazy how uh, coincidental that is. But um, so I'll sing another one. I'll sing um, <laughs> it's Kiana Kara. It's uh, it's it's another song that's just just as depressing <laughs> as the <laughs> Tema Mahi. Basically, so. you're in the right place for that now, Dominic. Yeah. Yeah, most of the songs are pretty depressing, you know, mm-hmm. I'm going to sing, but that, that's the way it is. Uh, so, it's Kiana Kara. Um, it was written by uh, Seamus McGriana from Rana Farster. And, um, yeah, I'll start off with that. I'm going to play, play the piano uh, with a few of the songs uh, because uh, I, I didn't have much else to do during lockdown, so I, I'm playing away the piano, <laughs> banging away at the piano last couple of months uh, so I'm, I'm gonna accompany myself <clears throat> Hey. 
his corona glien rachlanye Um, so that's Kiana uh, Karad. Call my kind of it's Rana Farsi. This next song is also from Rana Farsi. Um, I hit words over Tanya Matai. I guess um, it's about it's another sad song. It's about a, a drowning. Um, uh, dates back to the eighteen early eighteen hundreds. Um. Seamus O'Donnell wrote it. Uh, his son drowned. They were her, himself and his son were were getting uh, to, uh to make potching. They came over from around the forest to Bottom Beg, and they filled up the cora with uh, brahi. I don't know the English word for brahi. It's like uh, uh, um, barley or one of those things, and um, it was cheap to buy. You see, and, and they, they could make. Um, Potting cheaply from it, but anyway, they, they, they filled up the cora and there was only space for um, the son, so he rode across, but he ne- he never made it. He drowned on the way across, so the father was heartbroken, obviously, and um, he wrote the song. Uh, it's kind of for, form of grievance or a form. It helped him grieve, I suppose. Uh, so sure, he had words over. <coughs> And I get words out of the road, not her Ah, <laughs> 
Gaelic now Gaelic na Holoban, a uh, song from Chiri. Uh, I've been mapped there up on the wall, but uh, um, Chiri isn't far from Donegal, really. You know, uh, they don't speak Gaelic anymore there much, but um, they did. And the when the song was written, it was written by uh, Ian McLean. Ian McLean, who's kind of the last bard on the, on the island. He, he he was forced to emigrate to Canada, but. Um, so a chalin was a gun. It's a, it's a love song, and Francis is going to join me here on the, on the flute. Francis is uh, Francis Morton. She's actually from Scotland as well, so from Glasgow. Uh, so this is a chalin was a gun. I'm. <laughs> I don't speak much Gaelic really well, you know, I understand Gaelic, but um, the, my pronunciation will be all over the place. It'll, it'll be more like Gaelic Ridor, you know, but um, but Chile wasn't far from Ireland, so maybe my pronunciation is close enough. Um, because mo the, where they speak Gaelic mostly now in Scotland is way up in Lewis, and that's like, that's nearly the same length away. Uh, Chile's between, halfway between here and Lewis, so maybe... I'm pronouncing the word okay, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Um, did I saw? Na gurua ja humi vani anogas mi ana lam the farce Yeah. 
Maran Tang Merchers and Albany. Um, I'll, I'll sing one more song before the break. Well, I uh, uh, just this is a quick one. Uh, uh, Spoilum, hello, hello, Rethle. My auntie's listening over in uh, Germany. Uh, herself and her, her sons and nephews and all the, the crowd. So, hello, Morla, Theresa. Be brave, Lassiki, on the yeah, 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 so happy birthday. <laughs> The Sulum goes like a mice, say Arman. So can so can for America fast like him a lahi Tanya Matai was written by a, a woman called um, what was her name? Uh, Jesus, I forgot. Um, she was from away up in the mountains, but nobody lives up there anymore. Up uh, beside Balanafinya. Oh, he is, it's a lake up there and she lives beside the lake and, and, and she describes just the beauty of the area. Sinead, Sinead, you won it, won it, um, She wrote it around the early, like 19, I think it was 1916 she wrote it. Um, so just, where are the Kershys or Eilert that met at Anak she is? So yeah, I'll just sing it without the piano. <laughs> um, this is my own air. There's another air to it, actually. Um, but it was too country and western for, for my liking, so I changed it. But um, this is my own little air. Chan. 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 
You know, no, a little bit more cus- country and western, and you'd be right, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, so, Thomas Kun, Sus Bioga Hogal, we're going to take a, a short break and we'll hear a bit from Dominic in the second half. So, five minutes, folks. Um, just, you know, if you need to go to the bathroom or. Uh, refill your drink or what is it I will uh, try ping a few singers uh, to sing the first three in the second half so just uh, keep your eye on that and I'll also give you the ability to unmute yourselves if you want to uh, come into the chat and say hi for real so season five folks how you might that was wonderful Dominic I don't know who said that, but <laughs> Rita, Rita hey, Ab- absolutely gorgeous. We haven't heard. Sorry, Dominic, what did you say? Have you sang yet yourself? No, I haven't. No, I'd probably be singing in the second half. Oh, very good. At some stage, <laughs> uh-huh, there's, there's yeah. a lot of singers lined up there. There is. Lots and lots. It's great to see you. Are you home? Yeah, I'm uh, home in the door here, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. There's, I don't. <laughs> there's nowhere else to go, really. <laughs> <laughs> but you could be stuck in worse places. Yeah. Much, much, much worse, Dimrick. <laughs> yeah, I've been, out, uh, I've been out on the sea lot and out the mountains and... There's loads of places to go, you know. 
Kayaking. Mm. Oh, that's crack. But, uh, Anything to get away from the virus? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think this, the sheep can't get it. I don't think so. You're sitting up up in the, up in the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cup of tea, means because you're a gecko. <clears throat> I, I will be removing the ability to uh to for you guys to unmute yourself and say hi. So if you feel like doing it, do it do it sooner rather than later. It's getting very warm in here. <laughs> If somebody here wants to say hello to everybody. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> there was another girl there with the with the wee kitten, but she she's gone now. No, she's still there. Marie, hold up your kitten there so Dimmer can see it. I actually have two kittens here. There's another one in my lap, but you can't see her. <laughs> oh, there, oh, right, there she is. I think she that's what you call one upmanship, Dimrick. Here's the other one. Anyway. Whoop, there's the other one. <laughs> Aww. Aww. They've been enjoying the music. Yeah, well, this this fella doesn't he doesn't have any he doesn't have any well, choice really. <laughs> He's listening to channels every day. <laughs> Jesus, he's half asleep. He's going to sleep. Huh? Give me this. He's half asleep. He's half asleep, poor thing. <laughs> What are the kittens' names, Marie? What are the kittens' names? Yeah, so this is Oliver right here. Um, and the one in my lap uh, is George or Georgia. Oh, oh they're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> they're so cute. They, um, they come, I, I live in Quebec and they come from my friend's farm. The, um, oh the their neighbor's cat adopted them and had kittens in the the wall of their stable and they had seven orange kittens <laughs> so i was tasked uh with trying to find homes for them so at one point we had five little orange kittens running around and we already have three cats so it's kind of <laughs> a bit of a zoo but it's the best the same litter as well Mm -hmm. yeah. Calicos, but now my daughter took one and I only have one. <laughs> That's not enough. <laughs> no. My husband's not ready for another one yet, though. <laughs> He's still mourning the one that went away. <laughs> Understandable. Mm -hmm. But they're beautiful. Thank you for, so much for sharing them with us. I mean, I have no choice. They, they came, they heard the music, and they just wanted to come listen and fell asleep. <laughs> wow. It's very cute. <laughs> Do they freak out over the harp strings? They love the harp. Every time I play it, they um, they just like do the exact same thing that they're doing right now. Just come by and fall asleep. But when I try and play the fiddle, they run away. <laughs> Understandable. Like oh, yeah. I'm not the best. It it kind of sounds like dying cats when I try and play the fiddle. So yeah. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, sorry to break up the cat talk. I'm genuinely enjoying it, but uh, we're going to get the second <laughs> half off to a start. So I'm going to mute all. Um, 
I think everyone's muted now. Yes, as occasionally happens when we go for a break and come to the second half, I, I do put out the word to get someone to sing the first song of the second half, and I receive a string of refusals. Um, so I'm going to have to sing the first song of the second half. But uh, after me will be Marie Hamilton, uh, plus Cats, <laughs> and uh, Lynn Phipps will follow her. I did message Lynn, but I'm not sure if she saw it. Oh, she's actually away from the computer now. We'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. Okay. I shall kick us off. One second. Now, I am dealing with uh, some volume, so I have to turn down my volume now because I sing much louder than I speak. So give me a second. <clears throat> Joy came to my bosom as I reached Golden Court. Stepped on board a white star liner and then landed in New York. And the houses were all jasper and the streets were paved in gold. And the ladies in their splendor so charming to behold but i'm thinking ever thinking by night as well as day i'm thinking ever thinking on those green hills far away I'm dreaming on those mossy banks and the valleys down below. I, my heart is in lovely Erin, where the three leaf shamrock grows. Well, once I was disappointed. When first I crossed the phone, I had three days' work laid out for me against everyone at home. But to be working for informers, I would rather be hung than be listening to the jeering of a jibing foreign tongue. But I'm thinking, ever thinking, by night as well as day. I'm thinking, ever thinking, on those green hills far away. I'm dreaming on those mossy banks and the valleys down below. I, my heart is in lovely Erin, where the three leaf shamrock grows. I can see the little chapel beneath the mountain pass and where I made my confirmation and oft times knelt in mass with the secrets on the altar and the people bending low I, my heart is in lovely Erin, where the three-leaf shamrock grows. But I'm thinking, never thinking, by night as well as day. I'm thinking, never thinking, on those green hills far away. I'm dreaming on those mossy banks 
and the valleys down below. I, my heart is in lovely Erin, where the three leaf shamrock grows. Shina will. Okay, sorry, I think I'm just back to back to speaking volume now. Um, okay, let me move over now to yes, Marie. Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought here. Uh, Marie, let me ask to unmute. You. Oh, you've unmuted yourself. How are you, Marie? Good. I have a Marie is the the, the first to our, first time to our session here, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the first uh, Canadian or at least Canadian based singer to join us. So uh, we are more than happy. <laughs> what have you got for us, Marie? I've, I've been trying to think, um, but I think I might do a song. It's from the shape note tradition or sacred harp. Um, are people here acquainted with that particular musical tradition? Yes, indeed. There's actually there's a sacred harp, harp group uh, in Dublin and a bunch of them are traditional singers as well. So, yeah, okay. acquainted. Brilliant. Um, I'm going to do something a little sacrilegious and slow one down. <laughs> Um, I hope I don't get booted out of the group. <laughs> but um, this is a song from the Northern Harmony book um, called Amelia. And yeah, I think it's the one I'll sing tonight, today. Tis joy enough, my all in all. At thy dear feet to lie, thou will not let me lower fall, and none can hide or fly. Oh Lord, the sorrows I've endured are great beyond my control, no other hand but thine can cure. The anguish of my soul All my desires To the unknown Thine eye count Every tear And every sigh and every groan is noticed by thy ear. Thou wilt display thy sovereign grace <laughs> when stall my come. But spring, I will employ my lips in praise to the salvation sing. I will employ my lips in praise to the salvation sing Thank oh you. good heavens oh good heavens that was beautiful <laughs> the that cats is... knocked something over in the background i was going to say, I was, going to say <laughs> I was i was joking earlier when i said they were going to join you but but i think they they added some percussion of some form let us let us employ our lips in praise of you that was absolutely wonderful marie <laughs> and uh this is your, your your first time in the door. You're, you're welcome back anytime. Any, any <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> first Saturday of the month. Great stuff. Great stuff. Uh, okay, brilliant. We're going to move on now to Lynn Phipps. Lynn, I saw there. I'm going to unmute you, Lynn. Thank you. Lynn, how are you? 
O, ski. Vami trang, vami gupet, vami jinu, co-hosting um, le um, um, United States Station Initiative. So um, I was doing a co-hosting session and stuff all day in the USA today. So it's hard work, isn't it? <laughs> mm-hmm, it is indeed. For those that don't know, L- Lynn sings in, in Scots Gaelic, and it's, it's really interesting. Lynn came in just at the start of the break there, and so she managed to miss D- Dimrick's only song in Scots Gaelic. So uh, we'll just, uh, what, 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 what will be, will be. But anyway, Lynn, uh, have you got a song for us? It's an easy solution. You have to do it twice. <laughs> yes, well, uh, if that's okay. Um, so my brain isn't working um, terribly well because I'm tired, so I, I thought I'd sing something fairly easy. So I'm going to sing um, a song, um, so another piping song, as well on the piping songs here. Um, well, this is um, Anana Glinia, either Glinia Show or Glinia Sa, and it's about um, the rather murky um, event in Van Cove where uh, the, um, the Campbells rose up and murdered um, a large number of McDonald's, especially women and children. Um, so it's quite repetitive. <clears throat> Garland or Fadlin, thank you so much. And uh, sorry, sorry, sorry to call you so early in the session. I just wanted to make sure I heard you before you went out of the room again. Well, thank uh, you. It, it, it's a, a good idea because I might just fall asleep, you know, because um, I'm going to go ski. I'm going to go to the So I'm looking forward to hearing everyone else. Thank you so much. I have a bit. Jazz clutch in the match. Okay. Um, I'm going to move over to Colm Matthews. Colm sent me a message there. I believe he sings in Irish. Colm, how are you? I'm grand, thank you very much. Oh, I have to. I have to. No, um, we have you. We can hear you. Have me. Oh, great. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. great. Well, um, but one of them are on air on Shan knows a kind um, is there air in the nose and he. It's very old. I would love to know the provenance of it. Um, it may be an old poem or something. I don't know. Maybe if anybody knows, they could, they could let me know. It's beautifully done by uh, Liam Clancy, if you want to look him up on um, YouTube when he plays it along with the concertina, and he does a master job on it. So mine won't be as good, but I know the words. So, a Glen. A rare is made turn of er known Er on de findin' tora domium 
Shadow hev negon svärvan im hor dog ke manna brotje lag time lehingen domain is to klo do brihre is to bjul tani bin the lemus fey in the core is air erin ni no sun ke hi dange la con svervan dum glor is he draught ye move your have a fear God I am dead, no yen hing the no, the lerker e gor is e creek, the laying ler stardom store is pavin lum e foga hom the wearing on crave de na doid is sir erin ni no sun ke hi a grog yo be part of lum fain is go hor ha da meter lum screeth ing a coy ra le bon knesh na grave Da vain or ha o in ye ke hi ni la card ye ro hostelum thing con orus a yen of not yes a go toshi the rare roger the veil ni nor did a life doing ke hi Shina will accord you lovely Colin thank you very much great to hear you um, yeah no I, I don't know much of the, the province of the song I do believe it's from Munrain uh, in, in Waterford there I, I would, ah right I'd, asso- I'd associate it with, I'd associate it with um, Nicholas Tobin uh, most prominently at least um, but yeah no, I'd, I'd say the, the history of it's pretty well documented go uh, give it a yeah. Google I'm sure it'll come pretty quickly very good. Thanks for that. No worries. Thanks, Colm. Okay, we're going to move over to Pippa Noble. Pippa, oh, I can unmute you. How are you, right. Pippa? Not so bad, thank you. <laughs> Pippa, yeah. I wonder, have you got a mobile phone next to your speaker or something? Yes, I have, yeah. I would I would move it. We're getting a little bit of interference, but... Uh... Um, I've thrown it away. I, I, I and still... it stopped. It has stopped. stopped. Perfect. Right. Yeah. It's very strange. It has a life of its own. <laughs> no worries, no worries. What are you going to sing for us? I'm going to sing for you tonight a song that I found in Limerick Library in about 1976. Um, back in those days, I wasn't—I I didn't know enough about um, how to to actually make sure you, you you write down where you find the song. So, so all I had was Limerick Library, a book in Limerick Library. Um, I was hunting for my um, my grandma's roots, my, my Granny Todd, and uh, she lived for part of her life in Limerick, which is why I ended up there. Um, and I've heard um, there's lots of um, it's uh, Shula Wright. So it's a, I've heard lots of different versions, but this one I like really because I think the the stories um, well, it seems to be quite full. So let's see how we go with this. Just got to pitch it right, really. His hair was black, his eye was blue. His arm was stout, his word was true. I wish in my heart I was with you. God, I whom I've worn in the shlong. Shula, 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 Only death can ease my woe. Since the lad of my heart from me did go, God, I whom I've worn in the 
schlang. Tis oft I sat on my true love's knee, and many a fond story he tell to me. He told me many things that ne'er will be. Good day, whom I born in Schlang. Schule, 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 Only death can ease my woe, Since the lad of my heart from me did go. Good day, whom I born in Schlang. I sold my rock, I sold my reel, when my flax was spun, I sold my wheel to buy my love a sword of steel. Go die, whom I born in Schlang, Schule, 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 only death can ease my woe, since the lad of my heart from me did go. Go die, whom I born in the schlang. But then King James was forced to flee, and wild geese spread their wings to see. And bore my buckle far from me. Good I whom I born in Schlang. Schule, 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 Ara. Only death can ease my woe, since the lad of my heart from me did go. Good I whom I born in the schlang. I saw them sail from Brandon Hill. Then I sat down and cried my fill, that every tear would turn a mill. Good I whom I born in the schlang. Schule, 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 rah. Only death can ease my woe, since the lad of my heart from me did go. Go down home, I born in the schlang. I wish the king would return to reign. And bring my true love back again. I wish, I wish, but I wish in vain. Go day, whom I born in the schlan. Schule, 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 Only death can ease my woe, since the lad of my heart. From me did go, go day, whom I born in Schlan. I'll dye my petticoat, I'll dye it red. Then through the world I'll beg my bread to find my love alive or dead. Go day, whom I born in the schlang. Schule, 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 rah. Only death can ease my woe, since the lad of my heart from me did go. Let's go day, whom I born in there you go. <laughs> Gorgeous, Pippa. Such a haunting melody. You know, I've I've heard versions of that song everywhere. I don't think I've ever heard a version that was Jacobite that was about King James and and King Billy and all. That's gorgeous. Well, thank you, Lim uh, Limerick Library. <laughs> Lim Limerick Library. There you go. 
I guess yeah. it, it doesn't take much for these messages to weasel their way into songs. Brilliant stuff. Thank you so much, Pippa. Thank you. Okay. Thomas can go hard. Go Nisha Makawil. Nisha, I'm going to ask to unmute you. Oh, geez, you have yourself there. How are you, Nisha? Anya Makahog. Tell me that they're in. Five air b. Yeah, yeah. Are going to make a. Yeah, we'll 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 do first. Did you know in my first? No, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not this is southwest Donegal, so this is actually from the Glen Cullum Kill area, from Mullinvig to be precise, which is a peninsula just jutting out there, just round the corner from Glen Cullum Kill. And this actually is three different names, Any Him and Yarash and Crona Regalda are um Dimahira Malin, which is the most common one. I was west in Malin. And it was written by a man called Breen Bugogaida, who himself was from Glen Cullum Kill, and he wrote many Shanlow songs. And um this just happens to be one of them, um, and again, it's it's about a death. Uh, Dominic said earlier on, um, a man who I must admit uh, helped a lot of my singing. I had to give him a shout out there, but um, he said himself, like a lot of the songs can be quite depressing, but uh, this one again is about a death. It's about a young girl who was found dead in in the bed, and he wrote this song in memory of her. Um, and another man that helped me to sing in Brian Denny Mini, he actually gave me the fun for this. So the fun or the melody, I think, was lost for a while. So he gave me the melody on the flute and uh, I put it with the words. So hopefully it'll come back more um, now that it's been sung again. So anyway, this is Anin Heyman Arash, or Bimahira Mwalan, Na and Cronin Agalda. So three names there. Nakasama me wansu faskaru 
آج پیش مائر نخلی کفیا نائن لید یارد آس کلی جان هت به این سرالانگرش دنیم نیلاس پگ ناپاپ دارلورن انتاپو نخم مالو نهت آبیش یا کوپان مارتایف نیس بارس نافیدر دنارو نافارن سنت نلیراتو آبر نجام پر غخرای نپاش نیوانی نلیت لجاش دیخی آفو آرشیات نگرست لشانی ره نیانو آگس لو آنمان لگر کروانی نمایید نار لگ دیهو خاره لان کم کلا ابو ام اوکی ول ای وانت ای وانت تو اینیون دی سرویس واسط نم تو فالی ده I will just go back to our esteemed guest on queue, Dimrach Achar. Divalovic to Hain, or maybe I can unmute you. I've asked to unmute you, Dimrach. We have you. Yeah. Here, come back. Let's go to Mach, Achar. Aye. Why you hand me? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? So, I'll continue the... Well, I might not sing. I'll sing another one actually, because maybe one that's not as depressing. Uh, uh, actually, the the fellow who sang "Erinny uh, Nosin Kehi," I I think the gist of that song is um, a priest was in love with the some girl, and he he didn't want to te- like make it known. So uh, so he's on Ireland. I won't mention her name. You know, I think that's the gist of it. <laughs> Um, but this song, uh, in the, I'll sing a song called Slants in the Marek Gailey. Uh, it was written by uh, uh, Padre Darni. And uh, it's, uh, it's, he's in love with this girl and he's, uh, he's going to drink a toast to every part of her body. Uh, so he goes through all, all the parts and he's... <laughs> He describes uh, how beautiful she is, basically. So, so lines in the Marae Gailey. All her mass lines and flesh is the fall. And the sky and your pillow to me for a
So, hit where Nelly Hollis man, um, Bodina Scadan, um, where I'm Brona Halle. This is another song about uh, drowning uh, that happened around this probably the same time, the early 1800s, off the coast here. Uh, the, 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 I think four, four lads from Enish Freya uh, drowned, and this song is written from the mother's point of view she lost one of her sons and um it's a sad song um so so boy dina scada um this is a new song i learned so <laughs> hopefully i won't make a mess of it <coughs> um <and coughs> pardon the way Free, 
Captain Fushki, where in Fushki Beha? Another one written by Padre Bernin. Um, it's a very jolly song about whiskey, basically, and how uh, if uh, 
in the first verse he says if an old woman by the fireside had a a licking a, a drop of whiskey uh, she'd jump up and she'd think she was a model and she'd be she'd uh, be dancing around the house you know it's just it's a funny song um to a short captain fushki so air by go him a hainless faster um make it in us Um, 
So thank, thank, thanks everybody for all the songs. It was a very entertaining evening. There's more songs after this, but I'm just I'm finishing off. <laughs> but uh, I'll finish off with um, He's Kashna Tredu. It's a very well-known song. It's it's wouldn't be kind of categorized as a sh- big Shano song, but it's a, it's a good it's a nice wee song, you know. Um, so He's He's Kashna Tredu. Uh, um, i um, uh, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sentimental <laughs> 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 Great. So, so just sorry, if, if if people don't have Irish, uh, if, if anyone's looking for any of uh, Dimrick CDs, uh, Dimrick.com, there's a store on there you can give them a look. But uh, in the meantime, Dimrick, that was flawless. Thank you so much uh, oh, for good. being with us. Thanks a million. And uh, million yeah, wider. wonderful, wonderful stuff. And if if uh, I doubt it, but if you need your ego stroke, just have a look at the comment section there. The love has been streaming in since you started <laughs> singing. Wonderful stuff. <laughs> Okay, folks, so uh, here's the sad part. We've only 25 minutes left and uh, sadly more singers than we can likely fit in by the end of the night. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to race through a handful. If we don't get to you, please be advised. It is nothing personal. It's just not enough time to get through everybody in a night. Um, if we missed you, please come back next month and make us aware that we missed you and we will make a priority of you next time. Uh, but in the meantime, I have uh, four singers lined up uh, to get us going in this last fifth or whatever it is uh first we're going to have bernie dermody after that we're going to have brian otuman then we're going to head over to the uh the uh the red hook are they in red hook yeah the red hook regalers uh chris kavanagh and deirdre fiala patton so i'm going to get um Der bernie first bernie i'm going to ask to unmute you See okay there bernie how are you i'm grand but, would, you um, would you have a song for us I, I I'd always have a song at any time. I'm concerned <laughs> now after I'm going to have to come behind Dominic. It was absolutely fantastic. Oh, you're well able, Bernie. But I'm afraid it's another it's another sad one. I'm afraid I'm going to you're sing in, the right um, place. in in shame, love and shame that was written by Sean McCarthy wrote it for his sister Peggy, who was given a hard time because she had a by the local clergy and the authorities for having a baby out of wedlock. Uh, you'll have heard me singing this before, I think, Dara. You did. <laughs> they whisper their stories. They glance with the eye. They look over my shoulder when I pass them by. My father and mother, they treat me the same. Hear the nightingale crying in shame, love in shame. Oh, cling to me tight, love, take hold of my hand. The road it is long, love, and harsh is the land. That's the cross we must carry for having no name. Hear the nightingale crying in shame, love in shame. I have wings to my feet and of love I have dreamed. The moon and the stars, oh, how friendly they seemed. The touch of his hand in the soft summer rain. But the nightingale crying in shame, love, in shame. 
Once in the starlight, when he held me close, down by the green meadow, where grew the wild rose. The wind sang of love, oh how soft its refrain. Hear the nightingale crying in shame, love in shame. Now hush, little darling, we soon will be there. And a blanket of love will surround you with care. No vile tongues will whisper, you'll never feel pain. Hear the nightingale crying in shame, love in shame. The meek will inherit, I bear this decree. And suffer small children who come unto me. The sins of the Father on your head will be laid. Hear the nightingale crying in shame, love in shame. How mute. Are the birds now, my bonny young boy? How deep is the river, how silent you cry. Let the water baptize you, then we'll both bear a name. Hear the nightingale sing. There's no shame, there's no shame. Shine. Lovely stuff, Bernie. Pleasure to hear you every month if we get to you. Great stuff. Thanks for being with Thank us. Thank you, Dara. Thank you, Maria. No Thank problem. you. Okay. Head over to Brian Otuma now. Brian, I've asked to unmute you. You should accept my unmuting. We have you. Brian, ka I'm a good Dara Kermat. And listen to me. Clusham, Clusham to me, or Clusham, Clusham me who, Clusham who, and we'll learn that too. Uh, yeah, there's another um, sad channel song, but uh, just to say I really love that uh, that song there, but Bernie is one of my favourite songs, and she did a, a lovely job with it, it's very moving. Um, the main tree leg er a war again, no slave to what o here. Gone in yak pio mal waver on a crying yak class is fred. And snatta da heda no serum son goika udokim. Sme korala tamin bans ni riva dalam money. So were he lish cared a yen its me tani a shot it for. So were he lish cared a yen a son chuck shots a will on. Snock and true nish me was current live her hock. Snahura bra Lelinum cook egg shenum kyos cocktail your glass it pass. Smavian mock clowns a mile your lum on we may boss. O toro eg si ka griul me tri a is tri la. Iag pi pi jas a kalk a kus na kag an i si lan. 
Spectrum and log on a slave town, let me queen of John Clark. Gary, a mock, mock, untra gum, a sphere, scogial, na clark. Smotoshan, oh, hine, mwine, speak, she denta, oh, na la. Speak my capins, my ribbing, in teeth, she, seek, oh, ria, ser, my young. Sorry, pajin, work, oh, mwine, shme, no, escar, ves, and la. Go al shir har inche gan ev gam be a gan bra tuck in the ground. Snock her a little kyala me marni on a tom a clown. Ak tuggy shir gam weenish me oit the queen or me gahard. Speg sail chair na tuchani snive goodness aram. Shanae. Muila Birkeslat Avrian. Okay, we're going to move over now to Deirdre and Chris in New York. De guys, I'm going to unmute you. Deirdre and Chris, how are you? We're doing well. We were saying to each other that uh, technology has been an amazing thing during the pandemic to hear everybody saying it's been a real treat and it has made it bearable. And thank you for including us. Well, that goes both ways, Deirdre and, and Chris. You, you've, both, you've both helped a lot of us through this lockdown with your wonderful singing. Um, uh, people were talking about murder ballads. Murder ballads are timeless because it speaks to the selfishness and arrogance that is the same whatever century it is. Um, okay. In Milotivdi there lived a man in the neighborhood of Faivi. He had a lovely daughter dear. Her name was Bonnie Annie. Lord Faivi rode straight by the mill, where left Hefty Annie. His trumpeter rode him before, even the same Andrew Lamy. Her mother called her to the door, saying, come here to me, my Annie. Did you ever see a bonnier lad than the trumpeter of Fivey? Oh, nothing she said but sighing sore. Alas for Bonnie Annie, she dared not own her heart was won by the same Andrew Lamy. For when me and my love we first met, twas in the woods of Fivey. And with apples sweet and kisses soft, he won the heart of his Annie. But the last time me and my love met, he said farewell, my Annie, for I must go to Edinburgh town. But I'll soon return to Fivey. Well, her father soon he heard of this, and a letter wrote to Fivey to say his daughter had been bewitched by a servant, Andrew Lamy. Lord Fivey rode straight to the mill. Saying, what ails you, Bonnie Annie? 
Oh, it's all for love that I must die. All for love and Andrew Lamy. Oh, fivey, fivey, give your consent and let your daughter marry. It'll be Taiwan of higher degree than my servant Andrew Lamy. For if she'd been born of richer kin, as she is rich in beauty, I would obtain her for myself and made her my own lady. Oh, Fivey's lands are far and wide, and Fivey's lands are bonny, but I'll not forsake my own true love. Not for all the lands of Fivey. At this her father struck her sore, and likewise dead her mother, and her sisters all oh, they did her scorn. But woes to me her brother, for her brother struck her wondrous sore, with cruel strokes and many, and he broke her back on the high hall door, of her loving Andrew Lamy. Oh, mother, father, sisters all, why so cruel to your Annie? My heart was broken first by love, now my brothers broke my body. Oh, mother, mother, make my bed and turn my face to me, And it's there I lie and there I'll die, all for loving Andrew Lamy. In middle of Tifty there lived a blast by the name of Annie. She had the heart to fall in love with that servant, Andrew Lamy. Well, um, I'm gonna change the pace. Uh, different sort of mood. <laughs> That's okay. Gasman, Coleman, Waterboy, the bloke who mends the telly. They're all the same to Harold's wife, the famous knocking Nelly. She handles all her creditors. For years she's had no bills. But of Harry's Joes and Teddy's boys, I know she gets her fill. Last week while Harold's out at work, she's upstairs with a bloke. He's the put football pool collector, and he's Nelly's latest poke. She's got his vest and trousers off. She's asking him for more. When Nelly hears her husband dear come walking through the door, well, she bums a lover in wardrobe door, and then she shouts our crumbs for hanging out the wardrobe door with a bill collector's plums. Harold, he comes up the stairs and says, now, hello, dear. The boss give me the day off work, and what we'll she's dangling here. Well, Nellie's seen this all before, and a very good tale she tells. Says, I've just been out shopping, and I've bought these couple of bells. But they're not of the ringing kind. In fact, they're just a joke. So Harold lifts his finger up, and he gives the bells a poke. Well, Harold keeps on poking and agrees the bells are dead. The bloke inside the wardrobe's go in a funny shade of red. Harold says the bells will ring if he clouts them with his hammer. And Nelly sitting on the bed can hardly raise a stammer. Well, Harold clouts them once and twice and still the bells don't ring. So he raises up his hammer just to have his final sewing. He's... But he wasn't wrong. The bloke inside the wardrobe shouts, for Christ's sake, ding, ding, dong. 
Wonderful stuff, Deirdre. You should come with a warning. You know, rogue sneeze can can interrupt at any time. But uh, thankfully, Chris is a consummate professional. Held it together. <laughs> <laughs> Great to hear from both of you, and uh, you're welcome Thank back you. anytime, anytime. Okay, uh, we're going to move over now to John Caldwell. John, I'm going to ask to unmute you I'm to accept my unmuting. John, how are you? I'm good. How are you, my friend? Not too bad at all. Is this your first time on this call? Yeah, it certainly is, yeah. Well, you're you're most welcome. It's the first time for everything. Have you got a song for us? Yeah, I'll try. And uh, over the years, I've become a, a fan of uh, Colin Fowler's show. So Colin Fowler's songs can be quite focused on. I'll have a go with one of them. <clears throat> it's called One Thing With The Hair. John, John, just do us a favor. The, what's, what's happening is if you can move a little bit closer to the to the the computer because it's a, it's it's your voice is too far away and it's filtering it out. So that's okay, can, can you hear me now? We can indeed. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's called Hunting the Hair, and it's nothing to do with the animal. I noted of late with anxiety and fear that my hair as a species would soon disappear. Around the edges I still had a plentiful crop, but at last was all barren and shiny on top. As the fur on my skull became visibly scanter, my friends with a talent for scurrilous banter. They looked at my head and start talking of domes, like the great Carnahal of St. Peter's in Rome. But I tried to stay cheerful and not look too glum, despite having a taste like a small baby's bone. So one day I was blunt in the gloom and distressed by a charming young lady I like to impress. Do you think that it makes you look clever, she said, to wearing that whole cap on top of your head? With my hand on the Bible, I then took a note about points and tried to replenish my growth. When I spoke to my doctor, I quickly concluded he knew not the cause of my cranial nudity. Tell me, so see, are you taking strong drugs? It could loosen the roots of your personal robe. Fondness for drink, the hair growth is inimical, as is the handling of weak killing chemicals. Also, including a terrible fright could induce on your son to terminal fright. Your notion says I to why I became careless through working with Roundup in ways that were careless makes no sense to me and gives you no excuse. To allege that I am guilty of substance abuse. By the way, I have suffered a terrible shock in 2014 when Claire Hurlers beat Cork. My heart on the day took a terrible jolt, but I don't think that it caused my fine plumage to moat. The doctor could tell he's the story to the doctor. I heard some 170 smackers. I sent him to pay for a five liter patch which the man guaranteed would restore my old patch. But despite all this talk of those secret ingredients that won't have appeared in those desolate regions, and as it was blended from animal fats, I was followed for weeks by a herd of stray cats. I next paid a call on the doctor called Gainer, the place on his doorstep consultant hair trainer. He surveyed my head with tape, Measures and probes, and to see that consider your head of the globe. Behind your left ear, between Fiji and Tonga, you have a fine mouth which you need to grow longer. We'll draw the northeast passing through Ecuador, and we stop it in Wexford just off Curtin Soar. Continuing with these geographical similes, fine curly locks I see south of the Himalayas. These could be trained to grow over your scalp and be neatly tied down at the foot of the Alps. But says I want those tempests and gales equatorial, spoil your ingenious arrangements tonsorial. Although I agree that your theories are fine, they'd require super glue and a big ball of twine. In the wig shop I saw some impressive displays of crown toppers, hair pieces, rugs and toupees. To the man, we have products of each style and class, be it mullet, Mohican, or 50 duck ass. You can have any style, be a clean cut librarian, spiky haired punk, or chilled out Rastafarian. The short back and sides you can have with the cringe, or the quiff of it, or the 
bit of the donkey gun home from Stonehenge. Apart from enhancing your crisis cut floor, the wig can have many more uses, I'm sure. It can buff your new shoes to retort it, restore their bright sheen, or stuff for a rag. The Mr. Windscreen. When you take up the sponge, it can act as a strainer. For eggs and blackberries, a handy container. And Donny Go, cats long ago had a phase, but they like to give birth in their owner's two pays. On my way out the door, I laid eyes on a brochure, which offered a cure for my polar exposure. It says if the hair on your noggin is scant, you should give it a call to arrange a transplant. From the back and the sides of some hair, we could pillage them through elementary cosmetic pillage. We plant them all over those regions so bare that I thought that they'd found a response to my prayer. But I looked at the price and they proved only a follicle. 9,000 hairs for at 10 euros per follicle. Children don't like to go hungry to bed when their dad spends the lump money landscaping his head. And I thought for a while and I knew it was insanity, searching for methods to comfort my vanity. Time and good money I'd no longer spend, and the, my face to the back of my head could extend. For no matter how sinful your life or how virtuous, some heads are ever green, more are deciduous. Which is curls in their head are a thing of great pride, but you know what, that, what counts is the stuff that's inside. Air before shelter for bugs and cockroaches, big maggots, small mice, and those earwigs ferocious. I'll polish my hair till it shines, polish my paste till it shines and it gleams, and save money on barbers, shampoo, and brill cream. Mighty stuff, John. John, your, your first time here, but let, let's, uh, for our sake, let it not be the last. Great to have you, and uh, welcome back anytime. Thank you. Okay, folks. Well, that brings us to just about out of time. Once again, if we didn't get to you, please come back next week. Please let us know that we didn't get to you and we'll make a priority of you. And um, for anybody watching on YouTube and perhaps on Facebook as well, uh, the Seamus Ennis Art Centre have posted a little donation link. Um, if you're out there uh, and you haven't been too badly uh, financially affected by all of this, uh, please consider donating a few bob to uh, the Seamus Ennis Art Centre to support the art, to support events like this uh, and many more like it. Um, it couldn't be a more difficult time for everybody and especially for those in the arts venues uh, among them. Next month, I am delighted to say uh, we have Rita Gallagher as a guest, and I'm also delighted to say that she's with us, and I'm going to have her sing the last song uh, as a little plug for next month's session. But before I ask her to do that, uh, if everybody could please give a, a little wave uh, of appreciation to our wonderful guest for the evening, Dimnik Makilavrida. Mighty, mighty, mighty stuff. Okay, Rita, I'm going to ask to unmute you. You have to accept my unmuting. Rita. Hiya, Dara. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm not, I'm not too bad at all. Reason messaged me halfway through the session. She said she had to go away for a while, but she'd be back. And uh, and I was hoping I was hoping very much that she'd be back. And and here she is, a wonderful captain tonight. What have you got for us, Rita? Um, I'm going to sing a song called uh, Russia's Green. I think it's a Fermanagh song, probably Cahill McConnell, but definitely Valerie McManus anyway. Great stuff. As I roved out one morning to view the fields and the valleys green, with my two hunting beagles in order for some game to see. There I saw none but Mary, she appeared to me like a virgin queen. She was at her daily labor, attending to the rushes green. As I did look around me to see what pair 
persons I might see. There I saw none but Mary, whom I embraced most tenderly. She said, a young man, go easy, I'll go your way and let me be. Don't toss my rushes carelessly, hard labor I will gain by thee. If I toss your rushes carelessly, a greener bunch I'll get for thee. Come sit you down beside me, and a pleasant story I'll tell you. It is hard, a young man, to refuse you, although your false love hath led me astray. But I'll sit down beside you till the morning dew doth fade away. As my love and I were courting beneath your green wood laurel tree, the birds they sang melodiously, changing their notes from tree to tree. The lark she joined in chorus as I embraced my virgin queen for Mary, my fond Mary, and her bonny bunch of rushes green. Now my love and I were married, great riches she has gained by me. She has servants for to wait on her, to save her from all slavery. Her waist is so small and slender, the whole world I would arrange it around. For Mary, my fond Mary, and her bonny bunch of rushes brown. Well, folks, there is plenty more where that came from the first Saturday in November. I want to say a huge thanks to everybody for coming along, for singing the songs. Uh, it'd be very strange if it was just myself and the guest or Shane here. Uh, you really make uh, each evening unique and what they are. Uh, I'll give the opportunity to uh, unmute yourselves and uh, say goodbye if you'd like. Um, if not, we'll probably kick you all out very soon. But uh, pleasure, as always. Slán, agazí. Wonderful, thank you. Thank you, Dara. That was a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dara. Great to be with Hello, you. Dara. Gorgeous Good evening. evening. Another great night, Dara, and everybody. Thank you all. Yep. Thank Hi, you, Paddy. Thank you, Paddy. Hopefully, we'll Hopefully get Antoinette uh, tomorrow night at Larry or, or at the next session.
Lovely thanks, Sarah. Thanks to everyone. Thanks, all. Okay. Thanks, Tara. Thank Good man. Fair bloody. Thanks Lynn. so much, Demrick. Thanks, 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 Thanks,